Here in Doha, the Financial Times Business of Film Summit attracted some of the world's biggest film players. These are uncertain times for producers trying to raise money. Make the marketplace as attractive as possible. There's hundreds of films produced there, there's industries that have grown. The conference discussed new film strategies in an evolving landscape, and more importantly, the potential and future of Arab cinema in the region. We should be producing Arab movies, Arab movies for the local market, Arab movies for the international market, or Arab stories made by great European directors who love Arab civilization. Film schools, film education, what I need are stories. I'm incredibly moved by the stories and the culture. The private sector needs to be encouraged because we don't have the financial structure in place in the Arab world to encourage the production of films. Right now is the moment to come in with the way we market foreign language movies. It's time for us to blow them out of the water. I look forward to the day when there's a movie from Doha that uh, we can do the same thing. You know I mean, and just you know show the world that you know that uh, movies are the universal language. We should not be aiming at the big budgets. Germany, France, Italy, Spain, England today and Russia now and Eastern Europe could probably finance a movie that has international original appeal, anything between 20 and 30 million dollars. Each of us should be playing in our home ground because we as Arabs don't have a market or a very small one, Egypt being the biggest one and uh, UAE and other. I think we need to first link our movies to the European market. I think it's an opportunity to, to work with these companies, get also more know-how, get information, whether it's on script writing, whether it is in the production, whether it is in publicity, whether it is in marketing, and, and use these companies to improve our product, and then maybe we can achieve more crossover in the international field. You have a very segmented audience globally who would like to watch these films, right? And internet, because the distribution cost is so low that even if 50 people in Mexico City would like to watch a film made in Doha, you can make this film available. I think it's harder to make money in the traditional sense. Right. I mean, you know, movie, movie produced, movie released in the theaters, and then movie exhibited that way. I think it's probably easier if you're on the, you know, the side of the newer technology. We need now to develop Arab films and Arab culture. There is no great nation without culture. And no culture exists if you also don't have films. There's a need to have uh, Arab filmmakers telling stories that are not only popular here, but also can travel. Why wouldn't the foreigners love Arab stories? They will. We want to make Qatari films, coming out of the Qatari family, coming out of the Qatari environment, coming out of the Qatari country talking about local problems, talking about aspirations. If you are sincere, then you will reach a wider audiences and you can reach an international level. This is the way to start.